everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to Mel's Blind Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness. Uh, as you can hear in the background, Darcy's tail is going a million miles an hour, so sorry about that. And I think it's because he knows the video today is all about him. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about dog boots and why they are essential for a guide dog to have. So let's get started. Hi, this is Mel Stevens. Welcome back to Mel's Blind Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness. You're walking, aren't you? So as you can see here, Darcy is really happy now that he's got his boots on. He's walking really well. Initially, when I started, he wouldn't get off the bed or anything. He was being really funny and a bit of a sook about it. But he's leading out in this and he is got his tail up and he's looking really happy is the reason why we're wearing our boots even though it's not hot is because it's all gravelly here and you have these horrible nasty spiky things called three corner jacks and they're really really actually quite dangerous because they get all on the footpath and everything and they're really really spiky and they're just all in the grass and everything and because this isn't a made footpath it's worse here um so and he has got them stuck in his paws before and he hasn't had it but it can make their paws really really sore and bleeding and stuff so that's why you got your boots on and you're actually pulling so I don't know whether that's a toilet or a enthusiasm or what but you're not feeling the pain from walking on this for the first time in ever so and you're guiding me around the corner good boy so it's really really good that he's so happy and his tail's up and I've got him on a fairly long lead and his tail's actually um, tapping me on the back of the hand a little bit. So it's really good that he's so enthusiastic to go for a walk on this surface. So yay, winner. So I will, when I get my new dog, obviously I will, um, obviously I will either take them for a walk uh, one at a time or when I take them both for a walk I will have to buy a second pair of boots um, especially because I'm not sure if these ones will fit because I don't know the size of my new dog yet but these are awesome thank you to my auntie who bought them because they're great and yes auntie you did buy them like nearly a year and a half ago but I wasn't using them because I wasn't taking them out in summer and then last week when he actually stopped refusing to walk on this surface because of the spiky prickly things I thought hey why shouldn't I just put his boots on when we're walking on this surface and it's obviously work to treat which is fantastic. Really, really good. Yay! One of the things I was talking about, these three corner jacks. And I don't know if you can see them through the camera or not, but on the end of them, if I hold it up to the camera, you might be able to see that it's got this really nasty spike on the end and that's that's like needle sharp pin prick sharp and that 
in the pad of the dog's paws would be excruciating. If I actually look closely at the sole of my shoe, I have picked up a lot of them on both shoes actually. This is my right shoe. But I have picked up a lot of them on the soles of my shoes. And that could be his paws. Couldn't it, Das? Hey? It's a good thing you've got your boots on. Everyone, I have three of Darcy's four boots lined up. One, two, three. And all three of these have actually got a three-corner jack stuck in, um, in them. So you can possibly see them. I'm not sure. But this end one here has a really big one. That was embedded in the bottom of the shoe. And that could have been his paw. I'll just stick it back in there until I... So yeah, that, that could have been his paw and I would have had to stop and check all his paws um, for these horrible nasty things and then try and get them out. It's so good having these. So that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will link down in the description down below where um, my auntie thank you very much got me those boots that I love a lot um, and I'm sure Darcy loves them a lot as well so I'll link down in the description where my auntie got those from if you would like to look them up I know some guide dog organizations do give you boots when you get your dog and others do not so if your guide dog organization doesn't give you boots uh, when you get your dog and if you are in a hot environment or a cold environment or even one where it's um unsafe for your dog's paws when there's things on the gravel on the ground that could hurt your paws um maybe investigate getting some dog boots and also uh remember to tell your instructors that you would like to have a dog who can wear boots i did in my uh most recent application for a guide dog so guide dogs will try and look for a dog that is already comfortable with wearing boots for me which is excellent so thank you very much for watching this video today guys i hope you have enjoyed it uh, please remember to check down in the description down below for the link to the dog boots and also for all of my social media pages and remember to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.